Vlog with your host Pablo Gunner, and this has also once again been another weird week. Um, well, weird off, uh, just because, well, for multiple reasons. Uh, okay, so first off, um, I, I I called in sick because I had the Bee Gees on Sunday and Monday, so I didn't do day four or five. But then on my off day, I did go running with the wife. I will talk about my workouts, my, uh, you know, my food, and, uh, you know, the, the nerdy stuff, too. Shows, movies, um, comics, video games, all that stuff. Anything that I've been watching out, checking out, all that goodness, you know. Day one, I did, I, I was like, I need to work off all this, all this bad food that I had over the entire weekend. So that's exactly what I did, and it worked out pretty well. I was like, I'm gonna hit it hard. I was a little late that day. Um, my running buddy, uh, my treadmill running buddy, was had already gotten started. Already been there 20 minutes, so he already had a leg up on me uh, for like a mile and a half, or almost two miles or something. So uh, yeah. So, anyways, I jumped into it, and I did. You know, I tried to do like a mile and then a mile and a half pretty fast. But anyways, I ended up doing um, 4.55. So four miles, or no, four miles, 4.55, just like I think all together. But like those, I last walked the last like few parts. So 4.5 in 40 minutes or 42 minutes about. So that was really good. And so I was like, okay, well, I ran really hard and I have stuff to edit, so I'm not going to work out afterwards. So that's what I've been doing, unfortunately, because I've had stuff that I've needed to edit when I get home, like videos or podcasts or whatever. So nah, that's not gonna be a problem anymore with audio because I'm gonna toss it over to Slay J and he's gonna edit for me uh, if I can't finish. Whatever I finish, I'll just send it to, send it to him. So anyways, yeah, but what I ate was I picked up, picked up some uh, these like grilled chicken. They're chicken on a stick. It's grilled chicken at Costco, and there, there's a pack of two of them. I brought one pack with me to work, and that's what I had. I also had some mashed potatoes that the wife had made me from uh, a few days before, so I brought that, and there was a lot. It was a full container full of it, so that's what I had. I had like half of that, and then I had like a couple sticks of that chicken uh, during my shift. Um, I also had a blueberry Noosa yogurt that comes in a pack. So, yeah, like I was saying, blueberry Noosa yogurt that comes in a pack at Costco. But the problem with that is that, like, it, it goes bad pretty quick. In fact, I was going to bring some today, um, but it's, it's just, it's already gone. It's, it's already expired. So, and I just got it like a week. So make sure you check those expiration dates. But yeah, and then my dried uh, fruit and nut mix, and I think I had a manzana apple over here, and uh, that's that's what I had for the day and stuff uh, on the way home. I think uh, on the way home is, is pretty much I had an apple. Uh, so yeah, and then for day two, day two I was on my own, so I. Kind of, I mean, I was, I, I did some stuff with that other guy, but not much. Uh, I didn't expect him to show up, but anyways, and he was there before me. So anyways, I was like, okay, I'm going to do a run. I'm going to do a run. I'm just going to do a mile and a half, and I'm going to try to do it in as little time as possible, mile and a half. So I did, you know, half a mile, stepped into, like, I, 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 I increased the speed every so often. So, and I ended up getting uh, 1.5 and 1018, 10 minutes and uh, 18 seconds, uh, which is fine. I was going aiming for 10 though, I was aiming for 10, and that's why I ended up. So, and then after that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do pull-ups, I'm gonna do pull-ups and abs, so that's what I did, is I did three sets of wide grip pull-ups, and so I did 10, eight, six. And then in between each one, I would do abs. And so I would do, I did twists. I did twists with a 15 pound weight and I would do 50. So like one, two, three, you know, like that all the way. So essentially 50, 25 on each side. And so that's what I did. And I did four sets of that. And then I also did, I would alternate though between each one and I would do regular sit-ups 
with the 15 pound weight. And that's tough because I didn't have anything holding my feet down. I just did it on top of a bench. And so that, that was pretty rough, especially towards the end. And so I also did three sets of regular pull-ups, which they had the bar like this. And so I just did those three sets, same thing, 10, eight, six. And then I did chin-ups, 10, eight, six, same thing. So I did that, and like I said, I alternated between with abs in between of those. I would, you know, every other one I would change it up to, so it wasn't just one, one workout. That's what I did. So it was pretty solid. I ended up uh, having to do a double, so I did not work out after that. And then for that that shift, I didn't work out before it. But then I did work out after I got off. So. Uh, the thing is, is I ran out of food because I pulled a double. Because I pulled a double, I just ended up eating the second portions of the of the grilled chicken on a stick and the uh, and the mashed potatoes. And then I didn't have another. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I think I did bring another blueberry yogurt. I want to say. And then so that's what I took. And then uh, his, you know, and an apple. And then I. And that's what I had for, because like I said, I pulled a double, that's what I had throughout my second shift. Is I had to stretch it out though, so there was long stretches where I didn't eat because I didn't have that much food. So I don't know if my body went into like starvation store, store mode, you know, because of that. But anyways, so on the third day I had to buy food from Smith's. I didn't have to, but I did, because I was like, I need food. Uh, so that's what I got, and I went to Smith's, and I got these, they're like mini uh, ham and turkey sandwiches, but I combined them into one. So it's four, but I combined them into one, so that there's two, you know, but ham and turkey into one thing. So that was good, and, uh, and then I got uh, chicken fettuccine Alfredo, which it wasn't, it wasn't that great, uh, you know, especially after the Disney California trip. It's like, how can you compare, you know, their chicken Alfredo to any other chicken Alfredo? It's just heaven. So now it's like, oh. But anyways, yeah, so that's what I got. And I also got some pita chips. So that's what I had for that day. I really wasn't really hungry. But like I said, afterwards I got off work. I had chicken fettuccine Alfredo um, around like 1030 and I get off around 1130. So, but then I didn't get to the gym until 12, and I just did, I did just, I just did buys. At first I was just doing biceps, and then I started incorporating abs in between, because I was like, oh, I need a rest period in between my, my biceps. So I did like alternating curls and stuff. I just did a lot of bicep workouts um, with weights, and I was trying to do a lot, kind of, I was stepping up, like I started with like 15, then 20, then 25, and I think I ended up with 30, but I'm not sure. Um, and so I was doing less and less. So I started with a lot, you know, like I did like 10, you know, each arm, and then I would do, you know, I just did less and less as it went on, but I was also doing abs. I started with like holds where I would flip completely legs out and everything and just hold for uh, 30, like 30 Mississippi. Um, and then, uh, and then I alternated with also like crunch holds where I just do a crunch, but I just hold it wherever I felt like the most tension, you know. And uh, you feel the burn when you do that because it's like find where like the most difficult part is to hold, and and you feel it. So I did that. I did 60 of those. Um, and I like I said I so I just did it in between each one. I don't know how many sets I ended up with. Uh, I want to say like maybe. Um, like four for each one and stuff like that and so yeah but then afterwards like while I was doing abs I was like looking at my stomach and I was like oh man I got some pooch I got a freaking run after this and, and I almost feel like I I feel like I made a terrible mistake and you know, I think the mistake wasn't so much that I did the mile and a half run but that I was trying to beat my previous time of 10 18 I was trying to get to 10 and I had already, like I had already done a full shift, and I you know I ate kind of late in my shift too, and then on top of that I also did um, I had lifted before, so like I'm already kind of my muscles are worn, you know, uh, not legs and stuff, but just other muscles, abs and arms and stuff. So when I did this, like I was already kind of tired, and I was stepping it up. I was like I'm gonna try to do this. And so because I stepped up my speed on the treadmill, 
I ended up kicking my own ass because like on my fifth lap, I had to slow it down. I slowed it down a lot to the point where it killed my time. And then I hauled ass on that last lap and it just, it was not good. It was not good for me. I almost threw up when I stopped. Uh, I almost threw up because I was just like, it was just too much. Um, I, like, I think if I would have done my treadmill run and pushed myself before lifting, I would have been okay. Maybe not, just because it was after a shift. But I, if it was before a shift, I know I definitely could have knocked it out. So, uh, so yeah. Um, so, but like I said, I called in sick the next two days because I had the BGs. Um, and then, but on my days off, the wife was like, she, you know, she had to go to the doctor and they're telling her like she is, has all these problems with her. And so I, it's funny because she gives me shit and she's like, running's bad for you. And I'm like, not doing jack shit is bad for you. You know, that's definitely worse for you than running. That's why you stretch. That's why, you know, you do things so that you don't get hurt when you run, you know, and, and everything like that. You stretch before, you stretch after, you're good to go, you know. So I take the necessary precautions so that I don't end up in a bad situation. And, and I feel like running on a treadmill is a lot better than running outside, even though I prefer to run outside. She got these reports and she's like, okay, I need help. The, the doctors are saying I need to lose weight and I need to, you know, uh, do, do more physical activity. Uh, so that's what we did. And I was like, okay, tomorrow we're going to, I think this was on a Monday. I was like, we're going to run five miles. She was like, no, I don't run at all. And I was like, okay, you're right. Let's do one. I was like, fine, we'll start off easy. We'll go with one mile. We're going to run one mile. So, uh, and I was like, we'll take the dog. And, and the thing is like, we have a German pointer and he jets, he, uh, she named him Brody, but I call him Dobby because he has a Dobby face and a Dobby head, and that's how he acts too. And uh, I was like, oh, just let the dog fool you. And she's like, no, no, no. And she's yelling at the dog, and I was like, no, if this dog needs to run, I'll run him. So what I started doing is I would run to the corner and back, and she was just doing her own thing. And she was like, this is why I hate working out with you because you just do your own thing. And I was like, yeah, that's because you don't want to do what I tell you. You don't like to do what anybody tells you. She's like, you bossed around. You know, it's that classic, classic white girl mentality. She did run, but it was more of like a jog. It was more like she would jog and then stop, and jog and then stop. Like I said, I, every corner, we would sprint, me and the dog, we would sprint, stop, go back, and just keep on doing that until she caught up, and then do it again. And so I ended up doing like one point, I wanna say 1.17 or something like that, or one point like all together. So she probably got about a mile just going around the block essentially. Uh, doing what she did. So the plan was the next day to do the same thing, but we had to take her dog to the vet so um, to get his toe amputated because it was like all infected. Um, they said he had cancer and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna do that. I really didn't eat very well on my days off, of course, because I never do. That's kind of that's why I like going to work because I do eat healthy on the days that I work. It's cool because I get to watch a lot of uh, shows and, and movies and stuff like that um, when I have downtime. So I watched, so on Veterans Day especially, I watched um, a lot. I watched a few shows. And I wanted to watch shows that are about like the current stuff. I mean, we don't have anything that's really current, but we do about uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. So I watched this Netflix show, or Netflix movie called... Uh, Sandcastle, I want to say, and it has the main guy is the guy that played Young Beast in all the X-Men movies. Uh, well, not all of them, but in the newer X-Men movies. Uh, and so, essentially, he's he's just a kid. He's just a young guy who's doing it for the for the free college, and he messes up his hand so that he doesn't have to go on deployment. He doesn't have to go out, you know, and stuff. But his hand wasn't that he didn't mess his hand up bad enough. And the military being what it is, they're just like, all right, you're banned. They give them a cast and stuff. They're like, there's going on deployment and stuff. And they're like, all right, you're shipping out. Your hands, you know, fine. And he's like, well, I can't even make a fist. And they're like, all right, well, uh, here's a bandage and here's some, here's some, uh, here's some pills. 
sent him out. So it's one of those things where he doesn't want to be there, but in the end, he's like, he ends up with this mentality of, we still have a mission, you know, we still have a job to do, to get done, let's do it. And so that's, that's where he's at, you know, even though, like, his superiors are like, dude, it's time to take a break, time for you to go on leave, you know, and everything like that. So uh, that was a really solid, emotional, intense movie. Uh, and then I watched it, a documentary, and it's actually a sequel to another documentary uh, called Respepo, I think. And it's about a stronghold up in the Afghanistan mountains. And this one's called Korangal, though. And, um, but it is, like I said, it's a sequel to it. And it's essentially, they're like, what, it starts off with like, hey, what did you like, what do you like about, you know, Respepo and like, when you go back and stuff. And so it starts with that, so it's positive. And then you see how it wears on them, this, just this fight and stuff like that over time. And then in the end, you find out the reason, like, why they call it respectful. And it's because there was a medic, uh, and he, he got killed. And so they named it after him. Uh, I think he was the first one. And so, um, and so that's, that's pretty much, like, kind of how it ends and stuff. You see how it just, how war takes its toll. And that one really sent the message of, I'm not doing this for people's freedom back home. I'm not doing it free to these people here necessarily, but more so uh, my brothers in arms, you know, the guys next to me, the guy in front of me, the guy behind me, you know, that's what I'm doing it for. That's why I have to be on top of my stuff and, and everything like that. And that one was really, really good. Then I watched this show. It's a brand new show. Uh, I watched it on Hulu, but it is on the um, History Channel. And it's about after mission accomplished, uh, army is sent to the most peaceful city in Iraq. And it was the most peaceful city until we got there, and then they got ambushed, attacked, and uh, you know they didn't want us there and everything like that. And that's it. Seems like a lot of it comes down to is there's people there that they want us there, but they're afraid of when we leave. Everything's going to go back to the way it is, so they're they're pissed. They're already pissed off at us about that because they know things are going to go to crap once we leave. And then there's the people that are like, oh, you know, you guys just mess stuff up and then you just leave us and stuff we don't want you here there's people that they just they just don't want us in. <laughs> that's the argument for even people that in the military not in the military why are we there you know um we're not really fighting for our freedom necessarily but other people's and once we leave you know it just ends up going back to the same crap so why you know it, it's that's that's pretty much what it equates to so yeah, but it's really good. It was really great just to see like what our troops, our soldiers, our people, our military has to do with our veterans have had to deal with and stuff like that. So that's why I watched it. Uh, I, I, you know, maybe I should have watched some World War II stuff or World War One stuff. But I just feel like I already have a good grasp on hating Nazis, even though there's other people in this country that seem like, hey, you know, um, it's, it's fine to be a Nazi or it's like you shouldn't hate Nazis. Uh, but uh, I, it's, you know, it, you need to watch World War II stuff then if, if you confused about that. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I also my buddy got me into this other show called Midnight Diner Tokyo Stories, and it is about this chef, and he has a diner that opens up at midnight, and it's people that are like getting off work and stuff and coming, or you know, they just. Yeah, or they work late, they're eating before they go to work or whatever, you know. And so he'll make anything as long as he has the ingredients for it. And each episode is kind of like a different story, pretty much the mold. There's like side characters that, that you'll notice, but for the most part, it's a completely different story each time. And I really love it. It's really heartfelt. It has a, That's the biggest thing is it has a lot of heart, you know. And at the end, they kind of give you like a little tutorial on how to make whatever that episodes food main focus food was uh but it's more about people and everything like that it is subtitled it's in, it is in japanese but oh man it's it just has so much heart uh the only reason i took a break from it was stranger things season two but now i'm back on it i haven't finished it yet but i love it it is so good so check it out and uh and yeah and so that's that's pretty much what i've been watching uh finished mindhunter as well which was really solid, really great show, but it's one of those things where you're like, damn it, now I have to wait for the second season. It was so good. So, yeah. Um, and that one's about serial killers, and that show is brilliant. It's 
is phenomenal. So, serial killers and the FBI and stuff. So, but yeah, uh, anyways, um, and then for like comics, Mojoverse stuff going strong, uh, metal stuff continues to be freaking solid. Spectacular Spider-Man, another one got me in the feels. Uh, New Captain America by Mark Wade and Chris Samney freaking killed it. Phenomenal. That's how Captain America should be written. So the crap uh, Nick Spencer was doing with Hydra Cap. That was garbage. And then we also have... Uh, I've been... Look, I have been playing a little more video games. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, I played a little Metroid Samus Returns. I just got the, uh, the, the high jump boots. And I faced a new Metroid that was freaking hard. I died a lot. So that was a lot of fun. And then I've also been playing more um, Mass Effect Andromeda. I feel like I'm coming towards the end of the game because I'm completing a lot of the uh, a lot of the loyalty missions, which is really great. And then I think I have the final mission. I'm not sure uh, where you take on like the big bad of the game. I'm not sure if it's the final mission, but it feels like it. That's why I'm trying to get all these loyalty missions and side quests done before I take that on. Even though they like feel, they make you feel like we have to do this, we have to do this, and it's like, no, it's just a game, okay? I do things at my pace, right? So, phenomenal game. I think it's a beautiful game. I think it's really, I, I think it's hated on for a lot, a, lot, a lot of reasons, which is probably, there was a lot of issues early on, and those issues did not get fixed and right away, and they should have been there in the first place. Well, they did have the EA Early Access, and that's the biggest problem, is that it was actually released 10 days before and so there's people that got that early access I was one of them and but I didn't have any issues I just really didn't have time to play it a lot during those 10 days I think I played it maybe once or twice and I didn't really have issues with it but a lot of other people did and I think it's the hardcores that got it and they felt like got a lot of those issues they haven't played it after the patches and everything like that and that's why I don't hate it so but anyways that's uh, that's it for that week I do want to say I want to know my question for the week is what is your favorite football team, your uh, NFL team here uh, in the Americas, in the America, and uh, so yeah, 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 so, uh, and why, I want to know why, I'll tell you mine, obviously, Dallas Cowboys, you know, I, I'm a 90s kid, so I was there during the great era, the great reign with, you know, Troy Aikman, uh, Irving, um, Emmett Smith, uh, the Moose, you know, the Moose was my favorite because that guy's just a beast, and I like the, the tight end position, so, um, you know, because it's like kind of like defensive and offensive at the same time, kind of. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, but, yeah, so, and I've been there. I used to go all the time, like, when I was young, me and my family, we used to go to the games. We've been to Dallas and to and to uh, Arizona. We used to go tailgating. We would go paint it up and everything. We were hardcore. Uh, should do that again sometime in the future. Uh, that would be a blast. So yeah, I want to know what your favorite football team is and why. So that's it for me. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy. Love and peace.